when you guys first started, it, it's it's not your dream to create a restaurant. No, it's not. It's no. So our family, we have three siblings. Uh, one took the path that everybody, you know, the favorite kid, she went on and became a dentist. Then I was in public health and my brother was studying medicine. And um, so we all knew we did not want to open up a restaurant. We did not want to follow our family's path. And then when our dad passed away in 2010, um, it kind of shook our family. Mm -hmm. And our parents had a restaurant in this spot for 18 years and up the street for another 15. So like 30 something years all together. It's a family business. So they've been, they've been having, we've been selling pho, pushing noodles throughout our childhood. Right, and we yeah. knew we didn't want to go down that path because we saw how hard they worked. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And when our dad passed away, that really shook our family. Mm -hmm. And it shook my brother the most because um, he didn't actually have a chance to cope. And, and, and you know, he was in his early 20s in medical school and when he saw like what he what he saw was life is short life is short um you got to follow your passion mm. so he dropped out of medical school and he said he was going to come back and take over the family restaurant wow. so we you know hit our head against the wall a few times and then decided okay we're going to support you and um came back and started sketching and planning and dreaming and um boring loans and <laughs> yeah and That's crazy. Now that you guys decided to build this, you know what, you're going to mm -hmm. go all in. Mm -hmm. Tell me the struggles. Tell me that, you know what, you were telling me about your 18 hour days, 20 hour days. I'm an optimist, so you'll right. hear like the really quoted silver linings uh, but, through me. Because mm -hmm. I like to recall the good stuff, right? right exactly. But I swear I was crying, you know, like things in shambles. We, like, we, there were moments where it was my, my mom, my brother, and I in the back alley hugging each other and saying we we need to give up or we have to give up so those so the first year it was really tough it was really tough just it was a lot on at the same you know because you you have a team to a team to lead you have guests to to um to really engage and yeah it was tough and that's with 33 years of experience right um but you know with anything now looking back we're so so glad we did it, right? I mean, not anything that's worth worth it in life, whether it's marriage or a business, yeah. it requires work. And the harder it is, the the the, the sunshine yeah, yeah. after, the rainbow after, it's real. Oh, it's, it's worth real. It. It's yeah. worth it. What was the first sign of success for you guys? What was the first sign uh, you're like, oh, this is it, this is it, we, we, we've got it. Okay. It's the turning point. So the turning point, so we thought we wanted to like elevate cuisine, like Vietnamese cuisine. We wanted to like have a really beautiful dining room. But what was the, what was the success was, I think our first year and at our team, our annual um, team dinner, mm -hmm. Having that group, I thought was the biggest byproduct and the proudest byproduct of opening up a restaurant was totally. like all the people that we've gotten on board to be a part of our family who, you know, is, um, I, you know, who count on us for, you know, yeah. and then we count on them. Yeah. And, and, and that, that was a moment where I was like, wow, we, we did something incredible. Mm -hmm. Because this became a platform where we were building people, yeah, yeah. right? It was It's not about it being, at that moment, it was not about the restaurant, the food, or the drinks. It was about building leadership and community, gathering people, and growing our family. Right, it, was, right. it was, yeah, it was that point I felt so happy yeah. that the struggles doesn't matter because look at all these lives that we're changing. And they change our lives every day. Right. Still till this day, five years later. That's wow. probably our biggest achievement is our team. Beautiful. That's that's amazing. I think like that's the common theme of all the successful restaurant owners that I talk to. Yeah. Like they're all saying that it's not the customers, it's always the staff. It's always the family that they were able to build, nurture, empower, and grow. And that became their biggest asset. It's like an extension of themselves, of what they truly believe in, their values. And that trickles down to the customers that they are able to impact, the community. Yes. So I think like that's spot on. Like you, you, you're telling us that's exactly what it is. Yeah.